Hey guys, I'm Natasha and today we are going to discuss about concurrent vector. And in the previous video, I have told you about displacement vector. And in this video, we are only going to discuss about concurrent vector. So, uh, you can also call it as concurrent vector, but I will take its name as concurrent vector, okay? So, uh, let's start our topic. So, first of all, let me tell you that uh, uh, we, uh, we have to write the definition, but I'm going to write the definition by two ways, okay? So, you can write one of them or you can write both of them. So, let me write first one. So, the first one is two or more. Two or more vectors. Two or more vectors intersecting intersecting at the same point at the same point so this means that two or more vectors which intersect at the same point so it is saying that this means that if means two or more uh, vectors which intersect each other but they must be on the they should be on the or they must be on the same point so let me give you an example for that so that you can understand clearly so let me write for example yeah like that like that arrows this one b this one a this one c yeah so as you all can see that this one this point is joining these three vectors together and they are also intersecting each other and they are at the same point so in the first one point this means that in the first one point it is using simply intersecting at the same point simple this means that two or more vectors which intersect directly at the same point and they are direct, uh, and they are directly intersecting each other and they these three vectors are starting from the same point means that they have a common point so the second one way i have to write that this one means the second one uh, second one uh, definition of concurrent vector will be let me write then we will discuss it so two or more vectors two or more vectors whose two or more vectors whose line of action whose line of action two or more vectors whose line of action intersect intersect at a common point or we can say as uh, as uh, at the same point yeah so i've written a little bit is left yeah so this means that two or more vectors whose line of action intersect at a common point so in this way in this one it just means that two or more vectors which which intersect each other at a common point by line of action so it means that uh, but it will be it should be uh, you know uh, uh, more than two or it should be two not a one vector so let me take an example for that also yeah so one two and three so these are three vectors but they're not joined with each other so let me join by line of action by line of action okay so by line of action you can see that this point this point is joining these three vectors together and they're also intersecting so in the second one it means that in the first one it was simply used intersecting on the same point and then the second one means that by using line of action they intersect at a common point so and the uh, first of all i let me tell you that this one is b second one a third one c so we can say that in this one it is used line of action and then intersect at a common point and in this one uh, by directly intersecting at the same point so we can say that they are that they are concurrent vectors what they are concurrent vectors 
what they are conquering factors and in this one it is also will be like right that they are also they are also conquering factors what they are conquering conquering factors yeah so uh this means that in this one that intersecting this one by line of action but in both one they are intersecting and they have same point or common point so we uh, you can also see this one in forces so let me yeah start in forces so in forces on any object two or more two or more forces will be used got it remember that on any object two or more forces will be used so so it will be uh, i've taken an object like that see uh, you can take any any object but i'm taking that one object means a square okay so uh, there is three vectors first one is there third one sorry second one and this one is third one so there are three forces in this in this one we will call them vectors but in the forces we will call them forces and they have also na named like f1 f2 f3 if we only write the ff then we uh, then we didn't get the value means that which one is the f which one is the f that's why we have written 1 2 3 so that you can know it so you can uh, also see in that in forces you can also see that this point is joining these three forces together and they are intersecting like them and they they have common point means that they are starting from the same point so we can also say that in forces also that they are that they are concurrent vectors concurrent vectors what they are concurrent vectors if you have any dif uh, difficulty in uh, you know saying concurrent you can say it concurrent it will be like more easy to you so so this was the i i told you about the two ways of definition of uh, uh, two ways of definition of concurrent vectors and i've also uh, uh, show you in the forces that uh, in forces this can be also concurrent vectors and so uh this was all my today's topic and in the next video we are going to take a practice question of this topic means that of concrete vector so uh you know uh, why i am taking the practice question so that in questions it will be also easy to you this topic will also be easy to you and the question will be taken in uh next video so uh that's all for today and thanks for watching have a nice day